Hey everybody, Chance Priest back again. Man, I'm doing it again two days in a row because I got something special. Uh, this is Priest's Toy Safari episode 55. And I'm dang sure of that because uh, I just loaded two. So anyway, um, well, I've been doing a bunch of kaiju ones because I get asked for kaiju more than anything. But man, I, you know, as much as I love kaiju, I love bootleg stuff absolutely every bit as much. Um, also, if, you, uh, if you're just watching this for your first time, Victory Comics LLC, that is on Facebook, on Instagram, and on YouTube, and Chance's Toy Collection on Instagram. So, anyway... Uh, one day I'll get real professional with these videos and do it because I, I actually really like making them because I like y'all's feedback. I like talking toys, man, and I don't get to talk toys, you know, so my kids are all, uh, not that they, they love toys, they, but they only like talking about the stuff I make. So, I mean, that's it. I mean, they, they're, they're done. They're like, that, you know, but anyway, so I love talking toys. So y'all shoot, shoot me. I, I like messing with people. Y'all, you know, man, y'all give me hell. I don't mind. Um. Anyway, this is a real special video for me because uh, uh, I, I've been like hoarding up every one of these I've ever been able to find over the last, I'd say these guys about 10 years, maybe maybe a little bit more, but probably about 10 years because for a while I had a few here, a few there. And um, if, if you're just a good old American, you don't know any Spanish, it's uh, Juiba, but uh, in, in Spanish it would be pronounced Juiba. And, uh, and probably a lot more elegantly than my old Texas twain can do it. But, uh, you know, anyway, my Spanish teacher used to pull out her hair uh, she, she, when I was in high school. And she's all like, you know, uh, you make me sick. She, did, she said, you make me sick with your East Texas accent. She used to actually tell me that. And uh, I would just laugh and give her hell. Miss Prince, you're out there somewhere, lady. Um, and if you're still out there, I hope so. You're a nice lady. Anyway, outside of school, she's a nice lady. Anyway, these uh, these figures are Master Universe knockoffs. I mean, they were during the time of the of the of the great age of Galaxy Warriors and Master Universe. And man, there is a million different ones. And I'm sure I don't have them all, but I got a bunch. And I want to go through them slowly so y'all can see them. And hopefully, I don't bore y'all. There it goes. They're not setting timers like I always do. Um, uh, I don't know how to do nothing. I'm horrible. Uh, so anyway, y'all, um, I, I wouldn't even doubt this don't span three videos. I don't know. I tried to knock it out in two. Anyway, I've amassed as many as I know to amass, and and uh, uh, I actually got them up because I, I'm 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 asked more than anything about these guys for doubles. You got any doubles of that guy or that guy or that guy? And so uh, yeah, I pile up all these ones. And then I realize yeah, I don't got doubles of that. I got one of that, or you know, I mean, that's it. So anyway, um, here we go. This is the this is the Huiba video, and uh, I'm just gonna start randomly. You're gonna see everything from wrestlers to whatever, but I'm just gonna start randomly and start hitting them. Um, right off the top, a nice little uh, white ninja, and you'll notice their bodies are uh, most of the time a blow mold. Some this is a little bit thinner. Some of them are thicker. I'm grabbing different ones. Some thicker, some thinner, and some are solid body rubber. It almost, the company almost seems like it just said, you know, what, what extra plastics we got down in there, you know, we'll shoot it, you know, shoot, uh, fill up the molds, you know. So anyway, but you'll always, always, always find rubber legs and rubber arms. So anyway, there, there's your ninja. This guy's so freaking cool. I'm going to do him right off the top. And he's one of their wrestler series. Um, but check it out. He's got a mohawk like an Indian. He's got war paint like an Indian, but he's got, um, he's green, which, you know, call me crazy, but you put green on anything and I like it, you know? Mm. It's been raining all day, y'all, like bad, like Storm City. And uh, and that always puts my, like, pressure. I've had a migraine headache all, all, all morning, from early this morning till right now, and it kind of faded away, and I said, you know what, I'm gonna go do something fun because I've just had one hell of a hard day. Uh, Biggins. There's the smaller size, big size, and then there's a size just a hair in between. But anyway, the big, and you can see his blow mold body, rubber head, rubber arms. And sometimes the rubber's harder on some than others. 
uh, this is a pretty cool one because I've seen him done up like the Green Lantern. So uh, I've seen him as multiple superheroes too, but he's also got ninja deals and those clothes are, are legit. That's the way he's supposed to be. And of course you can recognize him, the Flash. And uh, there's a yellow Flash with a, that's, that's, the, that's a real weapon. That is a kick butt weapon, man. It's like a sword ax. And um, there's a black Flash with some green underwear. Man, and, and blue wings. Love, love, love them. Love them, man. I, I mean, I'm serious. I can't get enough of these guys. They're just so... They're they're different than anything else. There's nothing like them, really. There is a cobra with a horn. This is interesting, too. You're going to find And He's a little wrestlered out, but, you know, that's going to be one of their fantasy deals. Cobra with a horn. Uh, wish I had a pet cobra with a horn. It'd be awesome. Uh, except you watch those guys on videos and they playing with their pet cobras and they get bit and you think oh well that sucks uh, yeah I used to catch snakes y'all I used to for real I used to like catch them and grab them stretch them out I'm talking poison rattlesnakes and stuff I, I ooh, when I was younger ooh, nothing I wouldn't do um, and now if, believe it or not I mean not that I'm scared of snakes but I, I, I see I guess too many of them damn YouTube videos and stuff you see people get bit all the time and you know, they swell up and rot, and you're like, oh, I don't want no part of that no more. Um, anyway, and there is a, a, a cobra, just a regular cobra, but look, their heads are different. Their faces are similar. I think they took the sculpt, and they just worked it over. You know, like they cut away a little, added a horn, you know, trimmed him down a little bit, because the, the gnarling looks the same, you know, so anyway, they're both awesome figures. And another cobra. And uh, I, I love showing y'all my collection. I really do. Because, I, I mean, I just don't... It's like I don't get to show it to anybody. So, And there's a horned cobra. And he's... Uh, man, I love those colors. That that red and blue and white and green head. I mean, the black's cool. But, dude... I mean, if you want darkness... I mean, there's the bad against the good right there. That wasn't a kiss. That was a fighting death. Death fight. Um, this is a really weird dude they got. He's like a lion man. But he's got kind of almost like Egyptian crap on the back, you know, like hieroglyphics or something. And these are some of the later ones. Um, there's all these different body styles. Like here's the little wrestler style, and then there's the the warrior style, but without uh, mo mo movable legs. They're they're so everything's solid rubber, solid rubber chest. So I'm guessing that solid stuff is a later version. I don't know that because here's the lion guy. Okay, in a much higher quality figure and he's got or, or or is this a knockoff did they steal this and did some other company do this later or buy the molds later who knows but these guys come with accessories he's got a sword down in here i got lots of weapons y'all but i'm not gonna pull all the weapons out uh i'll pull some out but anyway that red is beautiful that's got to be my favorite one right there uh, as far as the lion guy we get that green face red. i don't know they just they just shot the curl when they wait you know just shot shoot the works man when they did those so, um, there is a, another Cobra, different colors. I'm going to watch my clock, y'all, because I'm, I'm real bad about getting off track. Y'all know that. A lot of people say, get off track. It's funny, but, you know, I don't try. It just happens. You know, something comes to my head. Um, here is a, um, this guy reminds me of that, um, that Bella Lugosi movie where the, the guy with the, the, they had the, they had, Bella Lugosi made that robot with an iron mask. I can't remember the name of that thing. Uh, oh, shoot. I don't know. This is good. I loved it, you know. Anyway, so he's got like a ninja body and then that head. But he's got a wrestler stitch up in the back. So, but now, now, I don't know. At different times in my childhood, I was so into WWF wrestling that, um, you know, that, that mid-80s time, magic, magic. You know, Hulk Hogan and Roddy Piper and, um, uh, man, just, you just name them. I mean, I, you know, George the Animal Steel, King Kong Bundy, all them dudes. I, I mean, there's just a billion of them. Um, um, Jim the Anvil, Nightheart. I mean, I just think of the ones that just, just, you know, uh, uh, what, Greg the Hammer Valentine. I just love Brett the Hitman Heart. I loved all them guys. So, so probably if I'd have had these when I was a kid, which since I ain't from Spain, I did not. And I didn't have no relatives in Spain to send them to me. So, um, 
anyway, the relatives I had, uh, most of them, if they sent you something, it'd be like a shovel. Do your work better. Uh, dig a bigger hole. <laughs> That's <laughs> no, I, my grandparents were great, but you know, the other ones, they were really about work, you know. Um, uh, anyway, so, so, uh, yeah, so man, I mean, I would probably play with a bunch of these as wrestlers, you know, with masks. You know, be like, at, in a period of my time, but I, then I was so into He Man and stuff and, uh, and fantasy figures and D and D. Uh, I never played the game, um, just because I didn't have anybody to play with. So, um, I, uh, but I, I had the figures and I loved to play that. And of course, I'd mix all that fantasy stuff up. So, you get it. Anyway, there's another one of those dudes. Uh, the Iron, I call him Iron Mask. I don't know. You know, I would love to know. I know some of you Spanish guys are out there, and and I would love to know um, their names if they have names. So that would be really cool to know. And uh, oh yeah, they didn't forget. They didn't skimp on turtles. Turtle knockoff. I mean, they didn't. They didn't miss a lick. I mean, they they got into everything. So uh, it's basically they had the molds for the bodies, and you can see they use different bodies. These are the movable legs, the more high quality ones. And I've always wanted to know if the Okay, here, this is another, talk about Variant City. There is a solid body, okay, solid legs, movable arms, movable head, rubber, and everything's kind of, if you notice the, the solid ones, they're kind of scaled down a little bit. Um, uh, Y'all, I'm like, I'm like about half six, so I'm like, everything, like, oh, so if I'm, I'm, I'm looking all weird, you know, just forget it. I'm looking all weird everywhere, every time, you know. Somebody says something, always. Um, Anyway, I love this guy, man. Check it out. He's like a Skeletor ghoul looking dude. But um, he is is not really hard rubber. He's more like of a, almost like a softer PVC. So I don't know, you know. But I'd love to do some research on that. And I know there's one guy that always has a big, um, he shoots up a picture of his collection. You know, it's like tears of, of these guys. And he's got a ton of them. So, mate, and he's in Spain. And I don't remember who it is because I don't remember nobody's name. Uh, until you give me a hard time, and then once you give me a hard time a bunch, then I'll remember your name. Um, and this is pretty cool. Okay, this is the Iron Mask guy. And see that cowboy hat? I mean, you know, I look at him. He's like an adventurer guy. So they were probably trying to do, like, let's do some G.I. Joe dudes, you know? And um, so, but that hat's permanent. I mean, it ain't, it's not, it's on there. So, and then rubber legs. But sick, awesome. Um, okay, we've got a guy who could pass for a. I don't know if he's He Man. I don't know if he is a. Uh, from the looks of his uniform, he could be a prisoner. He could be uh, a CPS worker or something like that. Um, he Man, who knows, man? I don't know. I, he could be a nature boy. You know, look at him. You know, he kind of. Frolicking out in the flowers, you know. Peace, man, peace. You know, who knows? I don't get into the peace, right? I'm here to fight. Um, this guy is freaking nuts. Okay, tell me that that don't look like Dr. Solar, Man of the Atom. Now, if, if y'all don't know that, um, put the Google on it. Because uh, that that's an old character from the 60s. Dr. Solar, Man of the Atom, and that totally looked... I guess they brought him back in the 90s, because I remember those books in the 90s. Something is itching my nose. I'll probably end up sneezing. Those y'all don't know, I don't plan none of this stuff. Man, I just get a wild hair and roll. I don't plan... I mean, the video. I don't plan nothing. I just... I do grab my pee. And I do make sure I got a tub of something. Um, here we go. We got the same... It's amazing how much a paint job will change a guy. So that guy looks like an Indian... American Indian, you know, um, kind of a Geronimo kind of looking guy, but he's got some warrior, warrior stuff. He's got some ninja stuff. I mean, he, that mix up, you know, but he's got a swivel waist, which not all of them have. And he's got uh, movable legs. So there's another. I went through every one of these and there's like 70, maybe 60 or 70 I have. I did not have two exactly alike. They're a different color. They got a different body shape. They got a different texture. Heck, I don't even have two of the exact same color. So, I mean, that, that's insane, right? One of my faves. Alien dude. Bumpy head. Now, he's a solid one. Uh, who cares? 
believe it or not, the, sometimes the cheaper, the better. The, the cheaper looking, you know, the better. I don't know why that is. And I was different when I was a kid because I wanted stuff that looked, you know, I don't know. I get into this, you know, I wanted stuff that looked, looked like totally real, man. Like, like that, that looks freaking re legit real. And, and then, I mean, most y'all know, I went into law enforcement, federal agent and stuff, and, and, and I, 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 12 years of seeing real, all real, man. I was, I mean, I was on SWAT teams. I was on, you name it. I was on it. I was on tracking details, tracking drug loads. I mean, I did crazy stuff, undercover stuff crazy because i could always pass for you know shoot when i was 25 years old i could pass for a 15 year old for real um so uh i did all this crazy stuff right and i saw all you know dead people and shootings and stabbings and you name, man you name it they're nothing i ain't seen and um and and, and after that i was like i don't want to see no more real shit I want to see fantasy. I mean, I would come home and like, like the last thing I want to do is watch a like a real realistic movie, you know. And then of course you go back and you watch like Verhoeven stuff, which is like some from the '80s. It's got to be right at the tops for me, you know, like uh, Total Recall and and all that. And you see all the shooting and the blood and stuff. That's all fake looking, you know, because after you've been there, done it, and seen it, you're like, I think the way it looks for real, you know. So it, now it's fake. So now it's even more fun, you know. It's like so. Uh, Robocop, all that stuff. I mean, none of that stuff looks real. That's not the way it really looks. So, uh, anyway, oh, I get off. Anyway, so, um, uh, so I, I like the real toy y looking toys, you know. Uh, I like real artsy toys too, you know. My toys, I make real artsy, you know. I mean, they're a little, they're odd, you know. They're, they're nothing. I, I like to say there's nothing quite like them. Like it or don't like it. You know, there's nothing quite like them. Okay, here we go. Got another wrestler guy there. There we go. There's the green guy again. Mohawk, war paint. Uh, most y'all, a lot of y'all don't know it, but man, when I was younger, I, I had a lot more hair. <laughs> and uh, uh, now I was never punk rocker stuff. So I was I was pretty a, kind of a mellow music kind of guy. I listened to a lot of old country from the fifties and I listened to everything. I mean, you'll find me listening to, to uh, Bach and Beethoven and you know, Wagner. And you name it, man. I'm, I'm it's like, I, sky's the limit. Except, you know, I don't do a lot of new music. Pretty much in the '80s, I quit. Um, but, um, um, where was I? Where was I going with that? Uh, oh, oh! At one time, I, I used to cut. Um, a lot of times, I would shave my head bald, and then a lot of times, I would cut a big mohawk. And of course, I wore, I always wore a ball cap because I had to be a professional, right? And nobody ever knew it, but under there, I had a, a, a dyed red. Mohawk. <laughs> Crazy, right? You know, you'd be all suit and tie, Louis Hart Sharp. You got a ball cap on, you got a, a freaking aura or a cowboy. We I was in South, I was in Texas and then in South Texas. She wore a cowboy hat a lot, and I'd have a red, a red mohawk underneath my hat. Nobody knew it, so I, I, I think I think it's funny. Um, anyway, a lot of people don't know that, but uh, and my kids, they loved it so much. A lot of times for summer, they would wear big old mohawks, you know. So uh, and and. And, and, and you say, well, well, you know, man, get this. Oh, man. For 20-some-odd years, um, I used to fight MMA, too, right? So, uh, that was back in the days when you could pull people's hair. So, you wouldn't let your hair grow out, and you'd shave your head. Well, I bought a, a, a head shaving kit, you know, and I would, I would I'd buzz my hair. I'd keep it just, you know, bird. And uh, and then I, I, I got to messing with it later on, and I said, you know, man, so I just started cutting my own hair, and I've cut my own hair for 20-something years, I, and my kids have never known a barber. I've cut all their hair. You know, my daughter, now she she goes to the beauty shop. I cut her bangs and stuff, though, uh, give her trims. But uh, anyway, yeah, so I've, I've cut all the hair. So I've done crazy styles on the kids, and I have messed up and had to shave their head, too. So anyway, <laughs> I'll get off on this shit. Uh, anyway, so there is a pirate, man, and they made some really killer pirates. And uh, look at the the... The hat on that, that's, that's pretty awesome. So pretty awesome. Um, God, I'm trying to show figures, and I get off on these stories, and I, ugh. Um, anyway, there's a there's one with a different, total different leg setup, you know. Uh, uh, I call him the He-Man of the bunch, you know. Although there's one in here that's just, you know, if there's a hero, I'll show him right now. If there's a hero of heroes, this is him. Um, this is This is the Thor character. Um, right there. Now mine has some wear to it, 
you can see he's his legs are a little little bit loose not much you know his arms are a little loose some kid played with him though that's my thor one and to me seeing he he is at the very top of the rarest ones i i would say there's nothing quite as rare as him uh because i've seen i've seen like all of them two or three or four times i've only seen him twice and i believe somebody on the knockoff group showed him in the package which they have a uh I, i've never had one in the package so call me um I would love to get one. I'd, and if y'all see something I, I don't have that y'all have, and y'all like, man, I want to trade you out of, I don't even like these stupid rubber things. I want to trade you out of something else. Well, you just call and we do the trading, man. So, I wanted to get through a bunch more than that, y'all. Okay, this is number 55, Huiba, part one. And I'm about to do part two, but my camera's about to die. Phone, deal. So, victory, people. I'll be back.